uh, Kevin McCarthy, the former Speaker of the House. Um, tell us, you know, your reflections on what we saw tonight. I'd love to also hear what you think about uh, what he said about foreign policy. He talked very tough on Ukraine, um, you know, spoke out about Hamas going into Israel. But, you know, many of his critics will say that these things might not have happened if he had been a little stronger initially. Yeah, I think if you were in foreign policy, you've been talking to the American public the whole time. There's three big issues that he had to answer, his age, the border, and the economy. I think he only did one on the economy. I think when it came to age, he tried to show the, this vigor, and I think he came across angry. And I think it put more doubt in people's mind on his pronunciation and others going through. When it came to if you analyze the speech at all, this campaign is really worried about their base. They weren't speaking to the independents or the Nikki Haley voters. If they were, they would have felt pretty secure about where they were going in. This is really a campaign speech trying to get the Democratic Party there, which I think he missed the big opportunity overall. You know, just Democrats piping up online, uh, some prominent Democrats. He came out swinging. He's back in it, to your point. Uh, that is the message that Democrats are sending out tonight. We're going to be back with the Republican response from Alabama Senator Katie Britt. We're going to take a very short break here as the president exits the hall. The State of the Union address here on Fox News. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.